Okay, here we are visiting Algeria today in this video. Look at this one, a one cent. I always like the one cents. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the design in that. Very nice, very lovely. Okay, let me take you through what else we have from Algeria. We have this one cent one. Just a camel in the mountains. This is in blue. This one here is a 65 cent, the same picture. Only 65 cents in pink, beautiful pink. Great condition here. Of course that one's used. The other one is not. This one's used. Here's a three cent unused. Good condition. Look at this. Look at the architect of that. Makes you wonder what the rest of it was. Isn't that beautiful? All the elegance in that. Very nice. Okay, here's a 90 cent one. Ship in the harbor. Docking, loading up. You can even see the old car. Look down at the left hand bottom. Look at the old classic there. Isn't that neat? I love it when they have classic things, you know, old cars and stuff and some of the pictures and everything. It's just so beautiful. Love it. Okay, and of course the one we showed you at the very beginning, the one set. And here we have a 20 cent. Showing you a little bit of the architect. And in that same picture we have a 15. Giving you a, a view of the land. Some of the architect of that country. Okay, and here we have a little one here, 15 cents. Don't know nothing about this picture and why it's on a stamp. If you know, be sure to leave it in a comment and educate the rest of us. It is rather an interesting one. Makes you wonder why. How did this fella get on this stamp? Has to be some good history there. So if you know, let us know, huh? Okay, and again, some more of that picture of the architect of the land. This one's in 40. Kind of an olive color. And we have this one here. Hmm. It's crossed out in Mark 25. Looks like it's a 50 though. Okay, and then we have a two cent one right here. Giving you an idea of the waters. How the trees grow around it and everything. Just learning a little bit more. Unused. Good condition. Look at that. Now we have some of these. It says one cent, but if you notice on it, it's stamped in red, one half. So only one half of it was being used. Didn't have no more one half stamps, so I kind of marked it that way so everybody knew it was just a half a cent, not a whole cent. Money matters. Here we have a two cent in the same design. Only in brown. The other one's kind of olive. And five cents in green, same picture. And then this one says one F, but it's a 90 in the bottom there. So I'm not quite sure, but these are kind of cute little collection. Four of them there. Then I went into these. I'm not sure if they're Algeria, but I'm hoping they are. If not, well, then I have a bunch of these here to show you. And this one here in green, holding the flag, making it to the top of the mountain. And then a 20 cent, same picture, with a blue design. Look how many times this had to be printed to get all these colors in there like that. Good job. Okay, so you have a 10 and a 20. And we have some that go this way here. 
Here is a one. The sun coming up from the mountain. I work in the fields. Looks like he's cutting wheat. You notice these are just their cutouts. They're cut out instead of uh, being regular stamps, which at the beginning of time it was like a sheet of stamps, and as people wanted them, they cut them out. Didn't have all the preparations around the stamp. Here is a two. Here is a 40. And here is a 60. Okay. So I think the most interesting one out of this one might be this one here. Maybe the more valuable one. So if you know anything about some of these stamps, go ahead and leave us a comment. And it's a good way to educate other people if they want to start stamp collecting. If people just comment and talk a little bit about some of these stamps and stuff, it'll help people to start an investment in old and rare postage stamps. It's a lot safer. It grows in value, especially safer than the stock market that goes up and down because the value of old stamps will only go up. So, if you're young, it's a good time to start now. You'll have a good retirement by the time you get there. And the value of your old postage stamps. Alright, bye-bye now.